Hey there, Cancerians. Welcome to the Happy Cancer Tarot channel. All right, let's go ahead and let's get started. This is going to be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. seeing a few different things showing up for you guys cancers it looks like you are headed towards your soul's purpose your intended path some of you may be getting a new car you may be interested in the car right now I'm also seeing unexpected money You may come into some money. That's probably why the new car is showing up too for some of you. This could even be a luxury car. Um, but nevertheless, it looks like you're going to come into some sort of unexpected money. And I also feel like things may start to look up for you. You may start to feel better about life as you're going through these transitions. There could be news of a pregnancy, whether you or someone around you. You finding out someone is pregnant. We also have here, um, yeah, there's going to be something going on with your career. Hmm. It's like you're being guided by a higher power. So you may be guided to change your career. Or you may go through, you may get like a promotion or something. Tell me more about cancers. I'm also seeing someone is going to approach you, Cancer, with an apology. This is someone that I feel like you may not feel like you can trust this person. Whoever this person is that's going to approach with an apology, I feel like you may be thinking you can't trust them. You can't trust their apology. So your soul's purpose is projected to happen sooner than you think. Because they're showing future days, weeks, months. There's something about the timing of it that feels sooner. Something unexpected. I keep feeling something unexpected is happening. Someone is secretly watching you. You, got, you have like a stalker on your hands, Cancers. That secretly watches you. Hmm. Some of you may be um, reading up. On getting some sort of support some sort of financial support you may be trying to find ways to make money if that's not you there's someone uh, there's someone close to you that's reading up about how to make money they may even be reading up about, up about the law like the judicial system yeah see who are you so this must this isn't this is someone here that's different than you think. There's a person that I feel like that's not who you think they are. There's something around a luxury car that keeps coming in. When I saw a new car and then here comes another. Someone may, um, someone's going to surprise you. Yeah, see, checking bank records. Someone is going to surprise you, Cancers. There's a person that's really intelligent and smart. And I feel like they're reading up. Like, they may be someone that reads, that likes to research. And I'm seeing the mask coming off. Remember we talked about you having a stalker? Someone is going to reveal themselves to you. How you will know them? They have a luxury car. There, or there's something around a car that's attached to them. And, and um, reading. They may read books on money, on wealth. This could be someone who, okay. 
Hmm. I don't know. This could be an ex of yours. I don't know. Something about the energy that feels slow and hesitant. So I don't know if you're cautious when it comes to this person. It's something about the energy that feels like weird. We got here extrovert. So it looks like a conversation. It looks like having a conversation with this person. I don't know. I don't really, I'm, not, I'm not really fond of this energy because it feels like whoever this person is, they're not very forthcoming. Even though this mask is coming off, I feel like there's something about what they're going to show that just doesn't seem right. It's something about them that's not sitting well with me. Yeah, see here, a mess. And there go the child. This is the third time. We got a message is coming, and we have child and children, the pregnancy, and then even right here, there's child support on here. So whoever this person is, they have a luxury car. It could be a Mercedes. There's something going on with um, kids for this person. There's something around children. I don't know why they're showing up because honestly, I feel like this is someone you're not interested in. Their energy feels irritating. So I feel like you may feel irritated by them. There's something about them. Spirit, what am I feeling? There's something about this that I'm not liking. So this is your energy though. Like when it comes to them, there's something about them that you're not liking. Moving on, letting go free. Yeah, see, look at here. Prideful, look, selfish stubborn arrogant that's what it is and i feel like this is you wanting to free yourself because that's what i'm saying it feels like a weird energy like whoever this person is you don't want to be bothered with yeah look we got here thaw coming in then we got here new york shattered this person may have remember legal system there's something going on how you will know them there's something going on when it comes to kids there's something going on with the legal system this person is going to contact you. They are a selfish, stubborn, arrogant, prideful person that wants things their way. There's something about what they're going to reveal. What are they revealing? They're going to try to sweet talk you. That's why you're going to be like, who are you? Because they're going to come in switched up. Why is this pregnancy significant? For some of you, maybe you got pregnant by this person or they got someone else pregnant. We got, oh, look, whoever this person is, maybe they're hiding a pregnancy. I don't know. Just don't trust this person. Let's leave them alone. Let me, let me pull one more card. What's going to happen with cancers with this person? Why, is, why are they even showing up? Because I feel like you are already in your energy of like moving on, not wanting to do any, want, not wanting anything to do with them. So why are they even showing up? Spiritual gifts, divine feminine, justice, STD. This person, cancers, this person was using some sort of spiritual gifts to get justice against you. That's why they're showing up. That's why I'm, I'm telling y'all, I don't like their energy. There's something about them. This person is spiteful. That's, this is a spiteful person. That's why that mask is coming off like, who are you? Because they're a spiteful person. And I thought this person was trying, they got an STD, they got someone pregnant, and I feel like they were trying to do something, um, spit karmic ties. Love, child, again, child is coming up. That's how you will recognize this person. And I feel like shady, look, shady, this person is doing something spiritually to you. That's why spirit is wanting you to know, to see. And with this researching, they read books on how to spiritually attack you. They want some sort of justice from you, the divine feminine. They want justice. They want to make you pay. That's why. But you have to be careful because this is someone that can come in covert. Sweet talking you, acting like they nice, acting like they care. When really they're wanting to see if, they, if the way that they use their spiritual gifts worked on you. Because they could have even done, done something to mess with your finances. Because I kept seeing something around money issues and now you're headed towards your soul's purpose, your soul's path, and you got unexpected money coming in. This person tried to stop you. That's why spirit was bringing them in. Because this person was trying to stop you. This is an ex of yours. And for some of you, this could be because of kids. Maybe you have kids with them. 
So take it how it resonates with you around the child situation. You know, even if, if you don't have kids with this person, there's something going on with them um, around children, financial support. They're getting karma. I feel like they're getting some sort of karma for what they've done. And so they want to attack you, but it feels like in a covert way, though. Um, let me see. Anything else cancers need to know about this person before we move on? Because I don't want to give them too much energy. It's a, yeah, it's a karmic male. This is a karmic male doing this. Someone you moved on from. Okay. All right, let's see what let's look into your money situation because you have unexpected money coming your way. What does um spirit want you to know about this? Because I feel like this person tried to stop it. Like they were doing something spiritually, reading books spiritually. Yeah, see even right here, money tree. So if you're in debt, you'll be able to pay that off. You're going to be able to pay off some of your debt with this unexpected money. See, yeah, you got growth. See, even new assets. Remember we talked about a car? So I feel like with this new, with this unexpected abundance around money, because it says before the year end, and even right here is showing projected. So there's something significant about the date, like it's going to be sooner than you think. Whatever this new abundance is, you're going to be able to purchase some sort of new asset, whether that's a car or a job or a house. I mean, not purchase a job. <laughs> you guys know what I mean, whether it's a house or a car. Whatever this abundance is, it's going to take you up some levels. You're not going to be struggling to keep your head above water and living paycheck to paycheck. Yeah, see, you're going to be heading in the right direction. I feel like some of you may be able to go to a different job. If, you're, if you've been in a toxic work environment, you could be getting a promotion. So you'll be getting out of that particular environment. Some of you may be going to uh, a different location. Uh, look at here. See, unexpected income. Twice. Unexpected. See, unexpected wealth unexpected income so it's going to happen unexpectedly however it happens though you're going to be able to do something financially for yourself get some sort of asset because i feel like you don't have any savings or you don't have enough money saved because savings is in reverse whatever this um direction that you're going in you're going to have to train for a position you're going to have to train for it. you're going to have to study for it Yeah, we got here self-made. You will become successful or rich by your own efforts. Some of you may actually purchase real estate with this money. You may get you like some sort of investment property. Because I feel like with that savings, someone wants to have money saved. Because I feel like someone is tired of struggling financially. It's like someone is like, I need to, you know, have like financial stability. So it's like using this money wisely. Whatever it is that's going to happen around this money, I feel like there's going to be like talking, gossip around it. Meaning that people are going to see you advancing. They're going to see you evolving and growing. So yeah, see watching you work, watching you labor, and they're going to be talking about it. Your hard work will be rewarded soon. Keep at it. So I feel like you're going to be talked about with this yeah see stability you will be stable and very prosperous i feel like that's what's important for you being stable and spirits confirming that you will you're making it actually a priority or you will be making it a priority to be stable and work hard i keep getting investment property someone is looking to multiply that's why we got unexpected wealth coming in twice because i feel like someone is going to use some money or use some sort of opportunity to make sure they have enough finances. And I'm feeling like someone is going to buy, buy some sort of investment property. Maybe like an Airbnb or um, buying a, a house to rent out to someone. But it feels unexpected. So you may start researching it or trying to train or learn about how to make additional income. I'm seeing working out. So yeah, and then we got here health. Some of you could be focusing more on 
getting you're you're doing a lot of things to make your life better some of you are focusing on your health maybe even exercising because we got here health and then i'm seeing here um sports some sort of activity so you're i feel like you're a lot focused on yourself so your finances and your health and that's why it says you're soul is gravitating towards your intended path and even right here right direction so this is the right direction you're doing things that are good for you anything else yeah i see growing up look at you look at you growing up i like that even right here we got the growth that's you're evolving you're growing you're trying to get your money together your life together your health together you are really uh your work you're growing up i'm also seeing here someone from the past contacting you because i got here the past and i'm seeing here a conversation someone is going to call you remember i said there's a, which is probably why they're pushing me to move on to the next one there's someone that's going to call you guys. Whoever this person is, this is someone from the past. It's not romance. All right. This could be someone you worked with or this could be like a family member. They're going to be contacting you. Um, who is this? How, how will you know this person? Let's see. How, Spirit, how would Cancer know this person that's going to be contacting them? It looks like with an apology. Yeah, see, I told you someone's calling you. Look, the phone is in the hand. They're scared, though. They have, they have fear about contacting you and having this conversation. Hmm. It could be a romance. It could be. For some of you, it could be romance. So, I don't know. If, maybe it's to both. It's both. People coming back. That's what it is. Because it felt like um, one. It felt like both. That's probably why we got here too. Yeah, because I feel like someone may be talking to another person trying to get advice. You have two people. Yeah, see, persistence. There's two people. One of them feels like a family member. It feels like an aunt or a sister. And then another one could be um, the romance. But they are both have anxiety about contacting you. So there are some people coming back that may have done you wrong, wanting to reconcile with you. So you're going to start, especially with, um, I know um, with holiday seasons or with certain things that could be transpired in their life, it's like wanting to reach out to you. Yeah, speaking of life, it says nightlife. See, gamble. They're about to take a risk. So definitely somebody is... Um, yeah, see, look, I told you. Yeah, this is, it says here trolls. So these could have been people that you had problematic relationships with. And then we're seeing female relative that was gossiping and talking. So one of them is a female relative that, see, family. There is one of them, a female relative that was gossiping and talking about you. That's going to be contacting you. This could be a Libra. Or this could be someone connected to a Libra, but Libra also represents justice. So they want to make things right. They're afraid because they probably afraid because they talked about you. Like they know that they talked about you and they're probably wondering, what do you know? Because they feel lost without you. This is a family member that feels ghosted, blocked or cut off and they want to reach out to you, but they're afraid something is going on in their life. Whoever this female relative is, there's something that's going on. And that's the person that I feel like you're going to be thinking that you can't trust their apology. But I don't know, Cancers. I just feel like you're not in that energy to where this is about you reconnecting in the sense of like hanging out with people. I don't feel like you're harboring ill will because you're growing up. You're maturing. I don't feel like, and we got gossip showing up twice. A lot of people talking about you. That's probably how they're going to want to reach out to you because they see you advancing. They see you growing because gossip is showing up, showing up twice. There's going to be a lot of talk around you and your growth. And this is why this person may feel like, okay, well, maybe I can reach out to you because, you know, maybe you're um, in a better place. And I feel like you will be, but it doesn't mean that 
you're a fool. And it doesn't mean that you're harboring unforgiveness. You just may choose to continue to focus on your work. I don't know. Let's see. How are you going to feel about it? How is Cancer going to feel about this? Theme? Oh, this look at here. City life shopping. You may you may hang out with this person. Or maybe these are the two people that's talking about you. Because I'm seeing some gossip. Like two people in your family talking about you. Let me see. How is Cancer going to feel? Ah, uh, that's why. Because it's a health concern. That's probably why I felt like your energy isn't uh like having any animosity you're you're not gonna have like a grudge because you you may find out that this person has like a health issue there are some sort of health concern so you you may even do something to help them we got home-based business creator again focusing on your work and then we got c sibling competition yeah off grid i feel like when it comes to your work I feel like you definitely keep that private. Like you, you really like people may see you have money because maybe you're buying things or you're, you know, with the car, the house, they may be talking and knowing that you're doing that. But I don't feel like, yeah, I don't feel like these are people you would choose to hang around because we got here this covenant. You're someone that likes to stay to yourself because maybe you can feel that toxic energy. That's where the hesitation comes in. So it's like you may help this person, but you're not going to be investing in having a relationship with this family member. I want to know more about this gossip. There's a lot of gossip. See, it's in your family. This is family gossip. Bloodline. There's some family gossip. So your people in your family are actually talking about you. That's probably why you're off the grid. That's why you're off the grid because you know, you know, this is going on. And despite that, I feel like if whoever has this health concern, I feel like you would assist, but you're not trying to, uh, you know, be friends, be friendly, like in a way of hanging out. I feel like these are the two PC family. Yeah, I feel like because you see them as a distraction. Yeah, I feel like these are people like even if family members are like trying to be around you, I don't see you doing that. Like if someone is in need of help because they're sick, I feel like you will help. Some of you will. But as far as like being friends with them, I don't see you doing that. I feel like I actually see you keeping to yourself when it comes to your family because you know they talk about you. It's showing up heavy. Like there is something, uh, yeah, see, be gone. And then I'm seeing here, uh, cry now, smile now, cry later, breaking chains. So there's something around a generation thing in your family of gossiping, talking, um, trolling. I don't know. They're just, there's something weird about your family and you want nothing to do with it. Yeah, we got here body aches. Yeah, beware. Because someone, yeah, an ex family, some sort of family member is coming back into your life. And they could, I don't know, Cancer, there's something that has to do with the, an ailment. Something, some sort, that's how they're coming back in. Because they may have some sort of physical ailment. And yeah, and I'm seeing here justice, spiritual warrior. The justice is, despite everything that has happened to you, everything that you've gone through, they need you. It's not the other way around. Because I feel like these are people that felt like they that you was going to need them. But these are people that need you. And these are people that, yeah, they say some negative things about you. But the thing about it is, Cancer, despite them saying negative things about you, they know you're a powerhouse. They know you're a spiritual warrior. That's why they want you around because of what they're going through. There is some sort of favor around you and they want to be connected to you because of that. There's a favor around you, a spiritual favor around you. And you may be someone that's smart, someone that's intelligent, someone that knows things and they feel like you can help them with whatever it is that they're going through. And I feel like this justice is them seeing you being this spiritual warrior and coming back around, wanting to apologize. See, you you are a blessing. You are heaven sent when it comes to these people. See, I told you, smart. Very smart person. 
So like when people are going through things, they want you by their side. They feel like you know a lot and you can help them make choices. You can help them um, get better or you could be an advocate for them. They want you by their side. But like I said, the justice system is like spirit saying, I'm blessing you. And I'm blessing you in front of these people. That's why they're talking about you. You the spirit saying, no, I don't want you to go high. I don't want you to be off the grid. I want them to see that you are sent from heaven. I want you to see that you are my child. So it's no shrinking back. That's why there's a lot of talk because you may want to keep your blessings hidden. Spirit saying, no, it's time to put yourself out there. Get up on top. She on top of a horse. Get up on the top of that horse. People need to see. They need to see that they were wrong about you. And they and they need to apologize to you. So, yeah. See, look. See, even right here. See, you have some sort of access. An ancestor blessing you. You have some sort of spiritual access. And they want you around them. Look, mother, daughter, curse. Family. Family passing down generation. You're the one that's meant to break the chain. You're the one that's meant to break the curse. It's through you. You have access and these people know it, but they talked about you. They talked about you and your access to the cosmic realm, but they're going to see and God is blessing you in front of them. God is saying you cannot hide the blessings. I want everyone to know that you belong to me and they're going to know it. That's why they got that apology coming in. Even your mother, daughter, um, yeah, see spying, snooping. See, see, blessing you. Congratulations. You have successfully passed to the next level. I'm blessing you and these people need to see it. They were wrong about you. Snooping, snooping around. Snooping around. Right, your hard work is going to pay off. So, yeah, that's where we're at. Um, let's go ahead and close out with an advice card for you as you're going through this transition. Spirit say meditate. Meditation is going to be helpful because um, there are going to be people pulling on you, especially people from the past coming in. Uh, it says here, um, yeah, there's going to there's going to be some sort of conversation here, having to come to some sort of agreement is what I'm seeing. Look at here, overgiving. Develop a healthy sense of reciprocity in your relationships. That's why they want you. Because you give. You give of yourself. Not no more. <laughs> not no more. There's been some sort of growth within you. This is not saying you're not a giver. But you have a healthy sense of giving. Yeah, I'm seeing here like having a conversation though. And it's not just one person with two people. And somebody in your family having this conversation. Oh, and then we got here. Take care of you. Yes. Be kind and loving to yourself. Your relationship will benefit as a result. Taking care of you. And look, over giving again. Yep. You see, people are not used to you taking care of you and going off of the grid. Right? They're used to you taking care of them. That's where the congratulations, you were focusing on yourself and you're about to be blessed and overreacting. So it says here, and I'm seeing here that yeah, maybe having to have some sort of power, have some sort of control over your emotions in this situation. It says between every action and reaction is the option to pause and think to prevent unreasonable responses. So that's the advice. So, uh, because I, I told you, I feel like you're going to have a conversation with these people. And maybe someone could be like, oh, you were overreacting, you know, pause and reflect before, uh, before giving them what they want. You know, maybe they're trying to get a reaction out of you. It says power and control. We grasp tightly when we feel like we are losing control. Yeah, I feel like uh, it says let things unfold as they will as part of the journey. See, empowerment. Adopt a mindset of strength and limitless to overcome obstacles. Don't allow the situation to overpower you. I feel like you won't though. See your value contributions. 
See, they are, they, now they want to appreciate your uniqueness. It says appreciate the uniqueness of what each other brings to the connection. Value and appreciation. Now they want to appreciate you. Now they want you around them. But I feel like you're being cautioned to not overreact or you, I feel like coming from a perspective because you are a spiritual warrior and coming from that perspective of like these people are really, how do I describe it? <sighs> yeah, see here comes family patterns. Yeah, these people are just, it's, I'm not saying it in a bad way, but it's just like they're not on your level emotionally, mentally. Like you're sent from heaven. These are people that are just lost and they're, they're trying to find their way through you and through your light. So look at it from a perspective of, you know, maybe just having compassion towards these people. Doesn't mean you have to be friends or maybe you do because I see you trying to work it out because maybe it is family. But um, either way, rather you be with them or not, I feel like there's just a need to maintain your emotions in this situation because it could get heated. And I do feel like you going into it, having some sort of like attitude uh, initially or uh, just like in your mind thinking they're going to mess with me. They're going to piss me off. <laughs> so it's like just kind of like just make sure you just control your emotions and don't give them what they um, may be gossiping and saying. Oh, you're sensitive. Or, oh, you're overreact. Whatever thing, things that they gossip and say about you, it's like don't even validate it for them by how you react to it. Okay. All right. I'll catch you guys in the next reading. Bye.